Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer with the Function Discovery Resource Publication Service. So I'm going to show you guys how to turn it on or off, and this pertains, probably you're coming across this issue because you're getting an error saying that Windows cannot start the Function Discovery Resource Publication Service on the local computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in services, best match, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the Function Discovery Resource Publication Service. Make it a little wider here. Go ahead and double click on that. Set startup type to automatic. And the service status is stopped. Go ahead and start it. If you're unable to successfully start it, at least set it to automatic startup. And then select apply and OK. And then restart your computer and then attempt to run or turn on the service. If you're still having an issue after attempting to turn that service back on, if you go back into Windows Services, something else we can try, if you open up the search menu, type in CMD, thus match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And into this command line window, type in N-E-T-S-H space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard, and then it should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead at this point and type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter, and it should come back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. At this point, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully at this point, your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.